Welcome back guys, it's EBA 101 and today we're going to be predicting the fight between Kong Song and Josh Taylor. This is a fight that a lot of people are not talking about because who is Kong Song, right? Uh, not a lot of people know him, I don't know him. I had to Google him or YouTube him and there was not many fights on him. He had this fight, I'm not showing most of the fight because it's kind of boring. I didn't see nothing interesting. Uh, and this is just towards the end of the fight and you guys get to see the best part of the fight It's not really impressive, but if you guys want to look at the video just type in his name It's one of the few videos out there in YouTube. So here he goes Bam that guy went to sleep uh, He gets up but the referee stops him and that's pretty much it with him so um, I I didn't see anything good qualities. I, I see a lot. I saw a lot of hugging during that fight. Josh Taylor. This I think he took a a lot easier fight than what Jose Ramirez did. Uh, and I know Jose Ramirez didn't do, look his best either because of the long layoff, whatever it was. Uh, Posto is a really good opponent. Josh Taylor has fought him before and beat him as well. Um, so it's a tricky opponent. And I think it's very interesting for this fight. Just hopefully there's no upset. And who, if you know he gets upset, it well, I guess, uh, you know, Kong San deserves it. But in the sense that hopefully after this fight, the, you know, fight between uh, Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez, or, you know, the winner of this fight, fight for to become an Speedy at 140. Just so they, you know, this is clear and one of the few times that people in boxers become undisputed the last one to do it is Crawford right and so he did it and then he moved up I think if Jose Ramirez ends up winning he's gonna move up right away after that as well because he is a big boy at 140 he's just tall lengthy and I think he's probably struggling to make uh, at 140 uh, Josh Taylor on the other hand if he ends up winning I could see him keeping you know a couple more fights two or three more fights but i think right now the money is in the welterweight division so either one of them i think are interested in moving up to 147 just to get the bigger fights that would be interesting because of the names are out there right now you know virgil ortiz is coming up uh you know how sean porter even though he's lost he looked very competitive against the top welterweights right now errol spence versus daniel garcia you know there is a video of my prediction uh, so check it out um, you know Crawford even though he's not fought big names and right now it's very difficult to get him uh, an interesting fight but all these names and I think that's why also Mikey Garcia decided to jump to 147 because he felt like the big money fights were at 147 even though I still believe he should be fighting more at 140 so maybe like Mikey Garcia versus Josh Taylor would be a pretty interesting fight if Josh Taylor ends up winning correct so uh, put your predictions down I think this is an easy one uh, but nothing in boxing is easy it's just uh, has a higher percentage of winning for Josh Taylor and uh, hopefully we get to see some undisputed champions soon and then this is something that other divisions should really be looking at trying to accomplish so boxing gets back to you know knowing one face one name for each division you know John T. Walter would always speak about that and I do agree with that mentality we need more of that in each and every division all right with that you know peace and check that fight out there's going to be other fights there's going to be the Renchenko versus Charlo I also did a video on that I will be posting another video of eating like a boxer uh, I eat like a boxer for a whole week. This uh, new episode is going to be probably posted next week. And it's going to be eating like Canelo for a whole week. Me and my roommate, my friend Roach are doing this. And we're so often we all, we're going to be doing different boxers. So please like, comment down below. Be interactive. Subscribe. Please help this channel grow. And I'm out.